Hello guys, uh, so in this video we will add a randomization in our damage as well as healing system. So uh, let me be very frank, uh, adding randomization is not a big deal, but just don't try to over engineer the stuff. What I will be doing is I will be giving you a snippet of a code that you can use uh, to, to apply the randomization and even like even if you don't want any randomization, you can go ahead with the fixed numbers as well. But just don't worry if you're not understanding something how the randomization is working okay because in the c plus plus language you cannot generate uh, random numbers easily okay you have to some you have to write some formula and kind of stuff it is nothing but a formula okay so i'm just writing uh, first of all you need to uh, include one library here hash include okay c time okay this is the most important thing if you are forgetting this then your randomization will not work okay this is the most important thing. Either you, you include it above the IO stream or like below the IO stream, that doesn't matter. But hash include C time is the most important thing. So I will quickly give you the formula to generate uh, the random numbers. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I have just written two lines over here. Okay, just don't worry about it. First of all, you need to understand. Uh, so in the C++, you need to make use of time to generate the random numbers. So that is what this line is doing. In the function of s rand that stands for s random inside that you are passing the time zero again don't worry what is this s rand what is this time in bracket zero just follow it for now just treat it as a formula uh, in the advanced languages like c sharp and java like you can easily generate uh, random numbers okay you don't write uh, you don't need to write this formula after that i am just creating a random damage because i want a container to store the calculation after the calculation right uh, or and and yeah like i am just using this formula this rand function is again a uh, user uh, is inbuilt function inside c++ this is responsible for generating a random numbers between the range of maximum damage and minimum damage and which is nothing but we have already defined this range okay if you are defining defining this to uh, defining this to 30 and 20 that means the random damage will generated around max damage and min damage that is nothing but 30 and 20 okay 30 minus 20 plus 1 uh, and plus min damage okay so this is nothing but the formula that you can easily google and get it but i am just uh, creating the snippet of this code as well and i am pasting it into the assignment instructions as well you can directly use these two lines so as i am returning zero this doesn't make any sense make sure that you are returning this random damage uh, that is nothing but the new damage that we have calculated with the use of max damage and min damage okay as simple as that this is what you need to do so exact same thing we will apply while healing uh, so first of all we need to uh, get the random healing so i am writing int uh, random heal okay so is equal to i am just writing brand as a function and then percentage this is nothing but the modulus operator again you don't need to worry about these terms as of now uh, max heal healing minus min healing okay plus one okay and then plus minimum damage sorry not minimum damage minimum heal okay minimum healing and i guess our formula is ready for generating the random heal value okay i forgot very important thing is s rand time zero if you are forgetting this line again your randomization will not work uh, but yeah these are nothing but the formulas treat them as a formulas don't try to understand everything uh, in this stage okay i don't want to return anything now uh, i have processed a random healing okay now what i need to do is as I have, uh, as I know what is the amount of heal that I want to apply to my health, I just simply need to add this to my health. So health is equal to health plus random heal. Okay. Uh, and that should be it. I can write some C out statements as C out lethos, letho healed with HP of and I can say a random heal. So like our user will know 
uh, at how much his HP got increased, right? So I'm just making it user friendly and L and I'm just selecting this line again, pasting it down and now the total like Letho's health after healing. So just quickly tell what should be the variable name here. Yeah, you are correct. This should be health. Okay, because we are now telling the health of our player to our user. Okay, so the so these are the two C out statements that will help our user to understand how much healing has happened to his player uh, and after healing, what is the current health of the player Okay, by these two lines. So heal functionality is clear with randomization, give damage functionality is clear with randomization and we are good to close this chapter and slowly if you can see our functionality of player is totally complete. So congratulations if you are following till now. Uh, I haven't played any uh, like I haven't tested our code yet but as I have written these functionalities in the later chapters uh, I'm, I'm gonna call these public functions and I want to test out how the output will look like. Okay thanks a lot.